Not all 3D printers are created equally. You do get many, many types of 3D printers. From filament printers to resin printers to even printers that print with machines that can build you some houses. I'm here to discuss to you guys two main different types of 3D printers and what each use would be for. So first of all, you get an FDM printer, which is like your general printer over here, which is what most people think of when they think of 3D printing. How it works is that it takes a hard plastic like this, which we call filament, runs it down to the hot end, melts it at around about 200 degrees Celsius, depending on which one you use, and then it will move to specific coordinates, dragging along that melted plastic layer by layer to create your 3D print. Resin printers, on the other hand, use a liquid resin that comes in a bottle of 500 mils or one liter. You can pick the color of choice. You throw your resin into the vat over here and then you make sure that you close your printer up. This is very important because the resin is toxic and the whole machine is designed to have filters and fans to make sure that none of the toxic fumes actually get out and harm you. Once you have the liquid resin inside, your bed then moves down to the very bottom and the UV light underneath the resin vat shines in specific spots and cures that little bit of resin on that first layer. Then the bed moves up, lets the resin set again, moves back down for layer two and it shines again in specific spots, builds up your layers layer by layer, printing upside down basically because your bed is inverted. The way how an FDM printer works over here, you have an X axis, a Y axis, and then a Z axis that goes up and down. Depending on what FDM printer you have, your Z axis actually stands at the top and moves downwards with your bed, and then your hot end is on its X and Y axis. So there are different types, that's why I say not all printers are created equally, but it is generally the same thing. They use the same plastic. You can get ones that are enclosed. You can buy separate enclosures, but that's the general basis of how this works. A resin print on the other hand, once again, the bed is your Z axis and that's the only moving axis that you have. This makes this printer a lot quicker depending on what you print. And we will elaborate on that in a minute. So once again, there's no X and Y axis on this guy because the UV light shines in specific spots. It doesn't need to move around. Now you can change your exposure time and all that kind of stuff on your layers and that will dictate how long your prints have. One of the key reasons to get an FDM style printer is if you're trying to do functional parts and stuff like that. For example, on my motorcycle, I really wanted to be able to go to McDonald's drive through for lunch. So we use an FDM printer and we actually printed a cup holder that sits on the crash bar on the side for me to fit a McDonald's cup that I can quickly go and grab some lunch, come back to work and have nice lunch. An FDM printer is really, really nice for things like that. Please just be careful though, it, some plastics cannot withstand high temperatures, so nothing really can go in your engine bay or by your exhaust. A lot of people think that they can do things like that it is just plastic. One of the main things that we actually get into our store for our 3D printing services is actually people wanting some hubcaps or even the little ball at the bottom or in the middle of the hubcap that sits there where all the bolts go. They want some fancy stuff there. There are a few people that ask us to print things like that. It is definitely possible and it definitely works. One of the key uses for getting a resin printer over here is because it can do such fine detail at such small scale. Meaning if you are an architect, for example, if you're studying and you need to make an exact replica or an exact model, you can use a resin printer and create to scale with high detail a model like that. On a resin printer, yeah, you can print a little figure for Dungeons and Dragons character at about that size. And you'll be able to see things like individual strands of hair, eyes, ears, all that kind of detail is possible with a resin printer. Unfortunately, a FDM printer via cannot print that kind of stuff at that scale. It can print the same model bigger, but it will not do it at such high detail on a small scale like this can. 
One of the main differences, as soon as you come into the store and you see the FDM and resin printers, they look very, very different. Now, because resin printers are made with filters and fans and it's a whole toxic thing, unfortunately, the, it does come with a price. Resin printers over here do average at a price of about 15 to 20,000 Rand. And we do have one for even 50,000 Rand. If you guys didn't see our video on the Creadly Haylock Max, Go check that out. The video is linked down at the bottom. This is the Creadly Halot Light, and it is one of the most common sized 3D printers for resin. Now, resin does not have a really, really big build volume, but where it does make up for it is that if you're printing a cube, if you're printing just one cube or if you're printing 10 cubes, it's going to take the same time. So where you don't have an X and a Y axis to move that takes the time like this does, this only has to shine a UV light once for one layer. So whether you're shining more of a light or less than a light, you're going to take the same time. So you can print multiple um, items of one thing at once over here. If they're all the same size, it's going to take the same time as if you print one of them. The only time a resin printer goes into a longer print is depending on how high you go, because the more layers, the more times it has to shine that UV light, the longer it's going to take. Prices of an FDM printer do range variously, starting from 3,000 Rand going up to 80,000 Rand. This guy over here currently is 4,000 Rand. It is a very, very nice FDM printer. It's a popular 3D printer. It's a very, very good starter printer over here. This is the Cradley Ender 3. This is the Cradley Halo Light. Both of them are made by the same company and they work terrifically. All right, guys, so this is this week's product of the week. If you guys want to check out this machine or anything that we have, go to our website at www.3dprintingstore.co.za or just find the link down below and you can go directly to our website or directly to this product as well. We do have social media, guys, so if you are on social media and you'd rather watch our videos there, we have a bunch of great content over there. Our social medias are all linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys follow us over there. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next week.